Hey guys, I am so so excited for you all that you have reached up to this level in this course and, and congratulations to you that you have learned so much in Adobe Illustrator and I am sure that uh, by now you will be able to do things on your own, you will be able to design your artwork on your own, implement your own ideas and create your own amazing stuff. So in this lecture, this is the last lecture of the module in which we are playing with the text and in this lecture we are going to create some amazing and fancy texts so let's get started i hope you are gonna enjoy it thoroughly so as you see on the screen that i have created a nice comic like effect on the word boom so you can use any of it so let's get started how we can achieve this effect we have clubbed so many different uh, effects from the previous modules it will be a great exercise for you to revise all the previous concepts so i cannot make you wait any longer so let's get started so i'm creating one more artboard for this select type tool and write any of the word which comes in your mind i am using the same things that i've already created and do not worry you are going to get the source file of each and every module in the resources folder so let's change the size of the exclamation mark a little bit you can change the size of each and every letter individually so it's not a big issue we also learned about a new feature in the type tool that was touch type tool in which you can manipulate individual characters independently so that is what i'm doing right now i'm just changing the size of it just maximizing the size of the exclamation mark rotating this b a little bit This tool lets me uh, manipulate the characters individually without having to disturb any other characters. So I totally love it. And I think we are much closer to what we have originally. And I think we are much more closer to what we have created initially. And I think. And I think we are close to what we have created in this artboard so we are almost there now let's toggle it to stroke for the time being I have the stroke panel open here I'm just increasing the weight of the stroke and, and keeping the fill empty for the time being. Now, what we have done next is we have created this splash. Now, let's see how we can do that. Click the polygon tool, click anywhere on the artboard. I've just selected random number of sides here, let it be 14 for the time being and my polygon is created with 14 uniform sides but as you see that all the sides are not equal that can be done easily now let's first expand the appearance when you are expanding an object that has stroke it will be expanded in two steps so if you have a polygon created First of all, it will be expanded and it will assume all these sides. And my polygon is created. Now let's try if we can individually change the anchor points position. 
Yes, definitely we can do. The shape has been expanded. Just stretch it out randomly from whatever anchor point you feel like stretching. Initially, it will not look that promising, but just wait for a moment. I think I have uh, achieved what I'm looking for. Now, after this, go to Effect, go to Distort and Transform, and select Buffer and Load. And in that, go towards the buffer side. It will stretch the anchor points. And if you go towards the bloat side, it will keep the anchor points at the place and will pull the edges outwards. So this is the use of pucker and bloat. I hope you find it very interesting and very useful whenever you are using it in your artwork. So let's go with pucker in this case. Adjust the percentage you want in your artwork according to your wish. So for me, this is fine. Alright. So I will just reduce the size. Try to match it with my text. You are free to scale it up and down irrespective of the aspect ratio here because this thing needs to be as random as possible to give it a nice effect. So I hope that is great for you. You can still modify each and every anchor point individually. That's the best part of Adobe Illustrator and each and every feature it has. So now what's next? Let's see. Alright. So now let's create a copy of this. So press Ctrl or Command C and paste in place. The shortcut for paste in place is shift ctrl v or shift command v so in first shape we'll have a background color and in the second one we'll have a dot pattern so i have created this swatch so i want to color it as blue so let's select the shape which is below the first one and color it as blue and I'm selecting the same shape above. Include a pattern from the swatches panel. You have basic graphics and in that basic graphic dots, you'll be able to see a series of uh, um, swatches. go to swatches panel and in that patterns basic graphics and in that select basic graphic dots you'll be able to see different dot patterns of different sizes so select the one you like the most and that will be added in your main swatch panel and also add it to the object that is selected so as of now, I'm selecting this one, 6 dpi, 40%. And once it's in your main swatches panel, you can modify its color, its spacing, or anything you wish. Just double click on that swatch, the pattern swatch. And if you select the dots together you will be able to change the color of all the dots or any single dot according to your wish if you apply any color 
to these groups of dots it will be applied throughout the pattern and if you even select a single dot it will change its color accordingly but for the time being we are just keeping it black let it be black and it's done so now we have our text here The fill color is yellow. Select the text and change the fill color. It's yellow and the stroke is black. We can increase or decrease the stroke weight. Also, we have applied a gradient background with yellow dots. So, let's do that. Select the rectangle tool and fill the artboard with same size of rectangle in it turn off the stroke and we will apply a gradient but before that we'll also create a copy so control or command c control shift v or command shift v so the above rectangle is going to have dot pattern so go to swatches and i have applied dot but as you see that the below rectangle is also yellow in color, the above dots are getting mixed with it. So let's change it to gradient. Go to gradient panel. And in that I have created a gradient, a nice gradient with orange and red color. And once both of the things are done, bring them down. Bring it below the character and the splash. Bring it below the bring it below the word and the splash that is created. Select the text and the splash together and group it together just in case if you want to move them together without changing its relative position bring it down okay so i have a group of the text and the splash with both the fill and the dot pattern so i can move them together and increase or decrease the size so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thoroughly let me know in the comments section